What's up guys? It's been a little bit. I mean, it's been several months since I've talked about uh, my book that I'm working on, still working on it. I uh, recently <laughs> had another like, not reader's crisis, writer's crisis. Uh, I've, I've had several of those in the process of this book. We are now approaching year four because I started it in March of 2016. That's when I started writing this book and it's still not done because it keeps being remade over because I keep having other ideas. It's like, no, this would be better for it. This is better for the story. And I'm slightly in the process of having one of those again. Uh, but this one, I don't think is going to actually like drastically change anything other than I just have to go back and like adjust people's ages. Cause I'm just wondering if I have my characters at the best age for this to be happening, or if I need to adjust that because what they're dealing with is more of things that I dealt with at a different age. But at the same time, people deal with things at different ages and not everyone's going to deal with the exact same problem at the exact same age. Like you think that's how it would go, but that's not how life goes. Life has its own plans. That's some of the thoughts that I'm having uh, about where I'm at with this book. But I am determined putting it in a recorded format and it's going to be posted on the internet. So I really should probably actually adhere to it. But we know how well that actually works. But seriously, I am determined to actually finish this book this year and hopefully start querying it so I can hopefully make my dreams of becoming an author coming true. Because I do feel a slight amount of pressure to finish it within the next couple of years as I was given an award in college of most likely to be published by 30. I'm nearing that. That's coming faster than I was comfortable for this project to be done. <laughs> But I've also, you know, embarked on other journeys and dreams and I'm, I just want to achieve all the things. I have never lost sight of like wanting to achieve this dream. We're still working on it. And finally found like a story that I'm, I've fallen in love with and it's wonderful. And I really would like to share it with all of you, but I just not quite there yet. We're still going to exist in the vagueness of how this works. So where we're at with the, the creative process. Uh, I went to a photographer conference and there was a, a quote that like really resonated with me and it like honestly like just fits the creative lifestyle in general, which I enjoy living. But the, that that's the thing is when it comes to creative work, there isn't like a set roadmap. So you can't be like, oh, these are the steps you have to take to get there. No one can tell you how to get the ideas that you want to actually write about that light a fire within you that you just have to like vomit on the page. No one can tell you how to do that. That is something that you have to experience and figure out for yourself. And that was a several year journey for me of finding the story that I want. Cause I've been trying to write stories for years. I did my first NaNoWriMo in 2009 and I have participated in every single one since then and never actually been fully successful, never reached 50,000 words. But if anything, the success of those NaNoWriMo's have shown me what stories I actually want to write. And I think that's really cool. And it's just, it's been a fun journey of like figuring out what, what I want to write, what I want to put on the page, what stories I want to share and what I want to tell. Because these are, I finally found a story that I actually think matters and I want to share it. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and share. I not gonna say that I'm gonna do my best to make a video a certain day a week or anything like that because that's just not how it works around here. Things kind of fly by the seat of our pants when it comes to posting content and it, there are some seasons that I can post more frequently than others but I also just generally try to post videos once a week. So we'll, we'll see how all that works but that's it for me. I will see you next video. Bye!